Dear compatriots, this morning Putin launched a full-scale invasion of Ukraine, an independent sovereign nation. We are at the brink of World War III. How did we get here? Let's first look at this. In 2014, Putin didn't dare to launch a full-scale invasion, so he used proxies. But they met a fiercer resistance from Ukraine than he had expected, and he only managed to take Crimea and a small part of Donbass. So what he did he, what did he do? He set out, well, obviously, the thing he was afraid of was a nuclear war with the United States. Remember that every president in, in the US all through the Cold War has been repeating as a mantra, all options are on the table, which is something we haven't heard now. Now, I'll get back to that. So what did he do when he couldn't invade in 2014? Well, he set out to delimitate and divide his main adversary, the United States. He did that by planting agents, Manchurian candidates, in the election 2016. We all know Donald Trump, but there were others in every party. Jill Stein, Bernie Sanders, uh, that congresswoman from, um, I forgot her name, from Hawaii. Putin had several candidates in order to divide the United States. He also used other organizations to divide. And he keeps doing it, which I'll get back to. Now, he managed to get Donald Trump elected, which was an unexpected success. So, he, and he had reason to believe Trump would get re-elected by using the same election fraud methods that they use in, in countries like Venezuela and, uh, and Bolivia and South America in general. This is transnational organized crime. And Putin is the main head of this transnational organized crime. This is a pest. This is a cancer that has metastasized over many years, which I personally have been fighting against this for many years and tried to raise consciousness to little effect and, and see where we are. I was predicting World War III for more than 10 years, for 15 years or so back if we didn't stop this, and we didn't stop it. Now we're here, so what can we do about it? We have two options. Engage Putin militarily and risk World War III, or a worse option, not engage him militarily and lose the world as we know it. Lose freedom, lose democracy. We cannot have a world where a mad dictator, a criminal mafia boss rules. We have no choice but to stop Vladimir Vladimirovich Putin dead in his tracks. Mark my words. Notice I'm sitting here in a Russian sofa. This sofa was made in B-Boy in the 1890s. Founded as a Swedish city, later conquered by Russia and a Russian city during the Tsar in the 1800s, now part of Russia. And I'm doing this on purpose, because this is a moment of historical importance. Now, what can be done? First, make sure Putin understands and the world understands that this is serious. We mean business. Expel all unnecessary Russian diplomats. 90% of all Russian diplomatic personnel, embassy personnel in all countries over the world should be expelled. Second, I would like to ask my president, Joseph Biden, to ask Congress for a declaration of war against Russia to have on his desk ready for him to sign if needed. That would send a clear signal to Vladimir Putin that this is serious and all options are on the table. 
Third, two can play this game. Siberia would be the biggest sovereign state on the planet if it gained its independence from Russia. It would also be a very rich country because there is no country in the world that has more natural resources than Siberia. It's also neighbor to China and the Chinese industry needs these resources. It would be a tremendous boost for Asia if Siberia became independent from European Russia. China has more to gain on an independent Siberia than they have on conquering Taiwan. If China attacks Taiwan, China will end up the loser. They will lose the standing in the world. They will lose the position they have today as the growing more and more number one economic superpower in the world. China, Beijing, Xi would lose all of that if they were to attack Taiwan. On the other hand, China would have a tremendous benefit from having as its neighbor on the north an independent sovereign state of Siberia. And the United States with Alaska would also benefit from having as its neighbor across the Bering State an independent state of Siberia. Both China and the United States would have a lot to gain from an independent sovereign state of Siberia. Think about that. Well, if this continues, which it will, I predict it will continue because there is no way of stopping this. If we do not stop Putin, he will continue. So it's just a matter if we confront him now or in the future. Now, remember what happens in this kind of conflicts. The conflict is led to different parts of the world. The United States has a weak underbelly, and that has been known in Washington since the 19th century. Cuba is a latent threat to the south of the United States, to Mississippi, to the heartland. And we also have Venezuela as a threat down there. And we have Nicaragua. Putin is infiltrating actively with the help of Havana, Cuba, a number of countries in South America. To protect the Caribbean is a main first step on this agenda. Protect the Caribbean. Stop any Russian presence in the Latin American continent. Well, with this, I think I've presented a number of strategic goals to pursue in order to stop Vladimir Putin. But he must receive a signal that he will not be allowed to continue. No matter the cost, he must be stopped because the longer we wait, the more expensive will be this war in number of millions and millions of people who will die. I would also tell Putin that I think he's been played by China. In World War II, Stalin played Hitler. Stalin had started a war against Finland. Stalin had been expelled from the League of Nations, but Stalin managed to get Hitler be seen as the more evil of the two. And thus, Stalin could get away with his game. Now, Hitler took revenge by attacking Stalin. Stalin ended up being a collaborator, an associate, an ally of the West in the fight against the greater evil, Hitler. And that is what I see happening here with Putin and China. China have their plans for Taiwan, but they have managed to play Putin. Putin is the loser. When he attacked Ukraine, he came out.
to be the Hitler in this world war. We have a choice, cooperate with China or face both of them. I say cooperate with China. Let's work for a free Siberia. Thank you, and I sign off.